Imagine crossing the globe in less than two hours. From New York to Tokyo or London to Sydney, China has just revealed its $13 billion hypersonic aircraft, the Nankiang No. 1, a marvel that defies conventional physics and redefines aviation as we know it. But what's behind this jaw-dropping innovation, and why are other nations racing to keep up? The Nanchang Nambal's one isn't just another plane. It's a hypersonic jet capable of cruising at Mach 6, six times the speed of sound. At the heart of the Nankiang No. 1 lies a groundbreaking propulsion system known as the multi-ducted twin turbine ejector Ramjie, or Mutter Engine. This marvel of engineering allows the aircraft to seamlessly switch between multiple modes of propulsion, enabling speeds of up to Mach 6. That's 4,600 miles per hour, or 7,400 kilometers per hour for our metric friends. Let's put that into perspective. Mach 1 is the speed of sound, about 767 miles per hour. The Concorde, once the fastest passenger jet, topped out at Mach 2.04. But the Nankiang Nopir 1 leaves these in the dust, traveling six times faster than sound and three times faster than the Concorde. Amazing, isn't it? And you know what? At such speeds, a flight from New York to London, currently about seven hours, would take under an hour. So how does the Nanchang No. 1 achieve such blistering speeds? Hypersonic flight demands a highly sophisticated propulsion system, and the Nanchang No. 1's mutter engine is a fusion of technologies, including turbofan engines for takeoff and low-speed flight rocket engines to accelerate to supersonic speeds, ramjet and scramjet engines for sustained hypersonic travel. Now here's the catch, ramjets only work when you're already moving at Mach 3 or faster. That's why this aircraft relies on a multi-stage propulsion system, with each engine type playing a crucial role at different phases of the flight. Did you know? Ramjets have been around since the 1940s, but were considered impractical for commercial use until now. However, modern advancements in materials and computing made it possible to optimize these engines for hypersonic speeds. Let's talk about the real-world implications of Mach 6. At this speed, distances that once seemed insurmountable shrink dramatically. New York to London, seven hours reduced to under one hour. Los Angeles to Tokyo, 11 hours reduced to less than two hours. Sydney to Beijing, 12 hours down to approximately two hours. So you see, hypersonic travel isn't just about saving time. It's about rethinking the possibilities of business, tourism, and even international diplomacy. Imagine attending a meeting in Shanghai and returning to New York the same day. Cool. However, flying at hypersonic speeds isn't just fast, it's hot. The friction between the jet and the atmosphere generates temperatures of up to 2,500 degrees Celsius, or 4,532 degrees Fahrenheit. To withstand these conditions, engineers have turned to advanced materials like ceramic matrix composites, which are lightweight, durable, and heat-resistant. Additionally, the Nanchang Nambaur 1 features cutting-edge thermal management systems to channel heat away from critical components. But make no mistake, heat remains one of the biggest engineering challenges in hypersonic flight. Did you know? These temperatures are hotter than the melting point of most metals, including steel. Without proper heat management, the aircraft would disintegrate in seconds. When you're traveling at 4,600 miles per hour, safety takes on a whole new meaning. Any malfunction must be detected and addressed in milliseconds. That's why the Nankiang No. 1 is equipped with state-of-the-art fail-safe systems and redundant control mechanisms. Another challenge? landing. Bringing a hypersonic jet safely back to Earth is no small feat, but China claims to have solved this puzzle. Details remain classified, but it's clear that precision engineering and advanced AI play critical roles. Could this be the secret sauce that puts the Nankiang No. 1 ahead of its rivals? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below.
The journey of the Nankyang number one began in 2019, led by Yin Zong, a leading scientist at the Aero Engine Corporation of China. In early tests, a smaller unmanned prototype weighing just 500 kilograms demonstrated promising results in controlled lab conditions. And now, China plans to fully operationalize this jet by the end of 2025. With its capacity to carry up to 10 passengers, the Nanxiang Nambalar 1 is designed for elite business travel and scientific missions. But why stop there? This technology could pave the way for larger passenger jets or even military applications. China's announcement of this jet has sent shockwaves through the aviation and defense sectors. The reasons are obvious, you know. Nations like the US, Russia, and even private companies are now racing to match or surpass the Nankyang number no. 1. Like, Russia has its Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle, capable of Mach 20 speeds. On the other hand, the US is investing in projects like the DARPA hypersonic air breathing weapon concept and NASA's X-59 quiet supersonic transport. Europe and India are also investing heavily in hypersonic research. Let's be honest, the real price here isn't just speed. It's about achieving global dominance, reshaping global connectivity, controlling airspace, and establishing military supremacy. These victories would also pave the way for leadership in space exploration. Who do you think will win this hypersonic race? China, the US, or another contender? While the Nanchang No. 1 is a technological marvel, it's not without hurdles. Cost. Developing a hypersonic aircraft is expensive. One flight could cost upwards of $100,000 per passenger, making it exclusive to the ultra-wealthy. Noise pollution. Breaking the sound barrier creates sonic booms loud enough to shatter windows. Engineers are exploring ways to minimize this impact, but it's an uphill battle. Environmental concerns. Hypersonic jets burn enormous amounts of fuel and operate at altitudes that could harm the ozone layer. Regulatory barriers. Aviation authorities like the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, and European Union Aviation Safety Agency ESA, will need to establish new safety standards before hypersonic jets can carry passengers. However, if hypersonic travel became widely available, would you be willing to pay a premium for the ultimate time-saving experience? Now, the point to ponder upon is, does hypersonic travel have any future? Well, despite these challenges, the potential of hypersonic travel is undeniable. Beyond passenger flights, this technology could revolutionize space exploration. Hypersonic vehicles could launch satellites more efficiently than traditional rockets. Military applications. Unparalleled speed offers strategic advantages in surveillance and weapon delivery. Scientific research. High altitude, high speed travel opens up new frontiers in atmospheric studies. As Yin Zong eloquently states, this is not just about faster planes, it's about changing human civilization. So, would you take a ride on a hypersonic jet? Do let us know in the comments below.